So I'm going to start the timer so I know I can keep track of time. So if you weren't here last week, I, I'm pretty sure everyone that's on really knows that this is standing yoga and you don't need anything and you take like all forms of yoga it at your own um, desire and pace. So let's have a look at the time. Oh, what's the time? Oh, it's two minutes past. So we'll wait till another minute and then we'll just get started and people can just jump in. Hope everyone is well and had a good day. This is going to be an energising practice and um, as I was saying to Laura, we're going to be doing some body tapping which really helps to just increase our blood flow and make us feel very energised. Yep, it's three minutes past. I must award your punctuality. So we're going to come to a standing position with our feet hip width apart. And you're just gonna take a moment to arrive. So it might be that you just start to connect to the soles of your feet by moving side to side, allowing the weight to be transferred into each sole of the foot, maybe having a slight sway. And then you might find a nice sweet spot with the soles of your feet and then start to connect with that leg line so you're stacking your hips over your knees over your ankles and start connecting to your breath as you open your body up maybe rolling the shoulders back and opening the chest maybe bringing the chin in just slightly bringing the head back imagining a wall behind you having your shoulders your back and the back of your head against it taking some deep breaths here really filling the lungs from the base to the brim and each exhale allowing the body to be soft and you may find some movements flicking the arms or just bouncing the knees to help you release any tension in your body right now and again inhale deeply into the lungs and exhale maybe sighing it out <sighs> inhale So now we're going to connect a little bit more of our feet. So bringing the toes up, pointing towards the ceiling. And exhale, bring them down. Inhale, pointing them up. And exhale, bring them down. Now we're going to bring all the toes up. And we're just going to bring down, I'm not sure if you can see, but we're going to bring down just the toes first and keep the big toe up. So like this. I'm not sure if you can see and then release the big toe down and then inhale bringing all toes up and now bringing the big toe down first keeping the other toes up in the air and then bringing them down and we're going to do that again okay so inhale toes up little toes down then the big toe inhale toes up this time big toe down then the little toe and it's a little bit of a brain teaser. So don't worry if like there was an absolute fail because when I started doing it, I couldn't do it. And the other thing is, is that, that I should have said is you can do it manually. So you can crouch down and we'll just go for it one more time. Bring all the toes up. And if you're struggling to get that connection between the brain and the, the toes, actually bring the big toe, the, the toes down while keeping the big toe up and then bring the big toe down and you can do it manually then inhale bring the toes up bring in the big toe down first and then the little toes and you can keep doing it like that until the connection just starts to come okay 
So coming back to your standing position and really pressing down through the four corners of your soles. And maybe spending a moment just connecting to your breath, closing the eyes, feeling grounded and connected to your feet now, and noticing your heart centre. So your heart centre may be above or below the navel. So your heart centre, I've said heart centre, but I mean your centre. So it's the place that you feel centred. So it might be in your chest, it might be your navel, it might even be your head where you feel centred. And just spending a moment there, just listening to your centre, maybe focusing on the breath, maybe focusing on the feelings that you have right now. And during the practice, you can always rest your gaze here. Okay, so we're going to start moving first by bouncing like we did last time. So bending at the knees, start to bounce the body, allow the body to be really loose. Allow the shoulders maybe to come up and just drop them down on each bounce. And if you want something a little bit more, you can actually hop like this. We're just gonna do it for about a minute and the aim is just to loosen up the body and release any tension. My house is making noises again. <laughs> so keep going. So you're bouncing on the balls of your feet. You're allowing the flesh, your muscles to be loose and relaxed. So they're jingling. So it'll look almost like a twerk from the behind. <laughs> and yeah, making sure that the shoulders are loosening up. Keep going, just a few more seconds. And then start to slow this down, maybe coming to a bounce first. Then we're going to walk our hands down our legs and we're gonna start tapping. So start tapping the feet with the palms of your hands and your fingers. And here you're in control of pressure moving to the ankles, tapping the outside of the ankles, inside of the ankles. Remember, if you feel any pain, to lighten the tapping, bringing your arms up to your shins, start tapping there, outside of the legs, inside of the legs, and the back of the legs. And we're gonna work our way up the body I'll just call out the name and I'll explain to you where this practice comes from. So coming to the knees. So this practice comes from Qigong and it's a way of generating energy in the body, increasing blood flow, coming to the thighs, top of the thighs, maybe making fists and it increases blood flow circulation. And it's based on the idea that our, um, well, it's not even an idea, but the fact that our body has different pressure points and nerve endings. And these nerve endings and pressure points relate to different areas of our body. So remember to get the back of the thighs as well, back of the knees too. And by applying pressure to them, it sends signals to our organs. So coming now to the pelvis, get the sides, maybe in the groin as well. just under the belly button, coming round to the buttocks. So you can see I'm now using fists, but if that's too much on your fingers, you can always use your hands. And it might feel like you're sort of like beating yourself up, but trust me, you'll feel amazing at the end. And the Shavasana will be really, really good. So coming up towards your belly now, maybe if you, if you have had dinner, you wanna maybe massage the belly instead, but otherwise tapping here. Coming up to the chest.
and then taking one hand opposite shoulder tapping along the arm and here remember you are in control you can't really get this wrong and we're just tapping and getting the prana the chi the energy flowing remember to do the armpit there's loads of lymph here so it helps with lymph drainage coming down the side of the body and over to the other side so getting the shoulder coming down the arm Remember the back of the arm, armpit, and the side body. Should feel really good. Now moving to the back body where our kidneys are. Just tapping the lower back with our fists. Maybe working your way up the back. Just try and get where you can. Maybe coming over tapping the top of the back amazing so now we are going to tap the head be gentle so starting to tap the head I'm going to take my glasses off I hope everyone is okay I'm just going to switch the comments off everyone's waved oh thank you so much we've got some new people um welcome Sweet. Okay, so now coming to the head, I'm going to take my glasses off. If you're wearing glasses, take them off just to avoid any casualties. <laughs> okay, so then tap in the head, top of the head. And if you've done this a few times, you can sort of apply more pressure and impact. But if it's your first time, be gentle. So top of the head, back of the head. Sides of the head, maybe doing one at a time. And then the neck, let's not forget the neck. And the neck, you can tap it, but it's, I prefer to give it a little squeeze and a massage. Great. So now we're gonna rub our hands together, create that chi, create that energy. And we're gonna start to bring our attention to the face now. So once the palms are nice and warm, brushing the fingers over the nose first, just bringing flow of blood to the nose where our airways are, opening up the airways. Great. Again, rubbing the hands together. And now making circles around the eye. So getting to the eye muscles and you're going in the same direction as your eyebrows now. And you may have noticed that your heart rate has raised <laughs> from the tapping and you feel a bit warm and tingling sensations, which is part of, is part of the plan really. Okay, then rubbing the hands together, gonna move on to our ears. So when you do this, you won't be able to hear me, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the palms on the ears. We're gonna make circles three times, one direction and then the other direction. Other direction. Nice and release. Let's make that prana, that energy. And then bringing one hand to your nose, applying a little bit of pressure and then making circles again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're having a bit of a face massage. Rubbing your hands together again, we're going to tackle the temple, the temples. So making the, um, bending the index finger, and bringing the knuckles to your pressure point at your temples. One, two, three, release. One, two, three, release. One last time one two three release and then making that chi 
And again, bringing one finger this time to in between our nose and the mouth. So the bow of the lip just here. One, two, three, release. One, two, three, release. Last one. One, two, three, release. And those pressure points, I didn't say, but they are tender. They should feel a little bit tender, maybe a little bit of, I wouldn't say pain, but discomfort, okay? So we're gonna finish off with eye exercises. So we're just going to make circles with the eyes. I'm gonna take my glasses off again, okay? So we're gonna do it six times in one direction and then the other, and it will look like this, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the other direction. So you count yourself as I explain why we're doing this. Our eyes are one of our most important organs, but we do absolutely no exercises on them. And what makes it worse is we spend so much time looking at screens, which are short distances. So this is a nice exercise for the muscles of the eye. Okay, so let's get flowing. So we're just coming back to your standing position. We're just gonna roll the wrists out in one direction and then the other. As our hands have done quite a lot of work tapping for us. Before we get started, actually, I just realized I missed a really juicy one. So we're going to do a tongue exercise, why not? So you're gonna place your tongue in between your teeth and your um, lips like this, and you're gonna make a circle around your lips. And then reverse the circle. And don't worry if you found that one hard, it's supposed to be a bit challenging and it depends on, um, yeah, it depends it depends if you've practiced it or whatever. So um, we did that exercise because we carry a lot of tension in our jaw and our tongue. So that helps to release it. Okay. So we're gonna get start moving now. So we're gonna start by just opening up the arms, up to the sky, palm to touch, and then exhale, bring them down through center. We're gonna do three of these, inhale up, Exhale, inhale, and exhale. And just bringing the hands by the side and just checking in here with how the body's feeling, quite warm, maybe a bit tingly after the tapping. And good, continue, inhale, exhale, but now bending the knees as we come into a squat, inhale, exhale, keeping the head up. And last one, inhale up, and then exhale, just bringing the palms to your center. So our palms are an extension, the lateral sort of extension of our heart. So we're just going to open up our arms and make a sort of circle shape. And we're gonna do a heart opener, okay? So we're inhale, we're going to separate the fingers, open the chest, look up, bring the shoulder blades together, and then exhale as you bring them, bring the fingertips towards each other. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So now holding the circle, maybe you want to shake up the arms because we're going to do another exercise like this. We're going to start doing some trunk twists. So moving over to one side, feeling that stretch through the torso and the upper back. Inhale back to centre and then exhale the other way. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale to center, 
exhale, inhale, and then from here we're going to come into a side bend. So you're going to allow the arms to move in opposite direction just slowly, bringing one hand to just below the belly and one up high above you. So inhale, reaching up, exhale, folding to one side. Inhale up, bringing the hands together back into a circle, fingertips facing each other, and then we go the other way. So the hands are moving away from each other, one hand below the belly, the other one up. Inhale to extend up with the fingers, exhale, bend to one side. And we're just going to take that one more time. Inhale to your centre. Exhale as you move them apart. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, reset. Inhale. Something went wrong. Inhale, extend. <laughs> Exhale. Great. And then releasing the arms back down and we haven't done much hip work so we're going to start working into the hips so having your feet hip width apart bending the knees slightly we're just going to start by moving the hips side to side like you mildly like the music in a club yeah <laughs> okay and then you're just going to tilt the pelvis forward and back and this is like I don't think you would do this in a club, but anyway. And then we're going to make hip circles. So going round in one direction, bending the knees, maybe bringing your ankles into it too, but only if you feel stable. And then taking it the other way. Deep breathing. And then slowing down those movements, we're going to do one last movement before we lie down in Shavasana. So we're going to do a sort of spinal wave, a zombie wave is what I like to call it. And I'll show you from side on. So you're just going to be standing normally, you know, as best as you can. And then you're going to exhale. So inhale and then exhale. You're slowly going to zombie down maybe your fingertips touch you're allowed to bend the knees that's absolutely cool and then you're going to inhale and rise that like zombie back up allow the shoulders to roll up and then the head we're just going to do that a few times exhale descending inhale coming up maybe bring a little bit of attitude to it like Ugh. like a zombie and Ugh. So that's an inhale up. Uh, just having some fun here. Uh, the last one, we're going to stay down in the forward fold. And you've got the option to walk out the legs a little bit. Maybe having the legs straight and bringing your weight into the toes. But you can just be happy with the knees bent. Allow the crown of the head to come towards the floor and allow what doesn't serve you to just exit out of your crown. That's what I like to visualize anyway. On the exhale, just letting it all go. And then as zombies, we all rise again, really slowly, just coming up to a standing position. Spending a moment just noticing the energy that you've created today in your practice, in your body, with your movements. I've only been a guide. And then slowly make your way into your relaxation. Maybe seated on a, seated on a chair, maybe lying down.
So once you've found your comfortable relaxation pose, taking a moment to make any final adjustments. If you're lying down, maybe having the arms slightly away from the body, the toes facing out, maybe bringing the shoulder blades together, really opening up the chest so that you can breathe easy and clearly. And then start to connect again to your center, the area in your body which intuitively you find your inner self, your inner being, or maybe your heart, that might be a more useful term to use. And then just focusing on that center and noticing how the breath moves that part of the body, maybe it's your chest, maybe it's your energy center, your belly, maybe it's your head, your crown of your head. And then if you haven't already, closing your eyes. And with absolutely no effort, watching the coming and the going of your breath. Maybe noticing your heartbeat too, as it starts to fall and come back down to its normal rate. Here we spend some time just listening to our center. Being a witness to anything that may come up. Now shifting your attention back to your body and having a few moments to notice where tension may still lie. Maybe it's in your hands, your shoulders, your jaw, your hips. And just taking a moment to breathe in some energy into those spaces on the inhale and on the exhale, letting go, allowing that area of the body to, to find relaxation, to return back to relaxation as it truly deserves because you've all done such a good job tonight. Now we're going to take three deep inhales. Inhale, filling the lungs. And exhale, letting go, allowing the body to be a little bit softer. Inhale. And exhale, maybe sighing it out. <sighs> inhale. Bringing life to the body and exhale, softening, relaxing. Now take your time, there's absolutely no rush, to slowly start to bring movement to the body and notice if your, um, if your natural um, action is just to jump up. Take it slow.
and when you do decide to get up finally maybe rolling to one side taking the fetal position and having a few more breaths there before using your hands to guide yourself up i hope you've had a lovely practice i really enjoyed it and i hope you have a lovely evening okay